Hey guys, this is Miami Automobile Technical Services. Here we go. I have this my C300. You know, yesterday I was trying to, you know, I went to somewhere about to travel just with my tank. I got to the police station and uh, the car key wouldn't suck anymore. After getting my fuel, the car wouldn't suck anymore. I was shocked, you know, and you can see the remote is working. Look at the remote. The remote is working. The remote is working, but the car key won't suck anymore. It's telling me to take the key off the ignition. Can you see that? Take key off ignition, and uh, the steering is locked. But I, I did something yesterday. I have to leave the particular spot where I am because it's not too safe for me. And I have my toolbox in the car. So after checking all the fuse, you can see. Take it off from the ignition. So guys, let's go. In case this happened to you, this is C300. So I got to move my car out of where I am. But for some people that don't have much uh, experience, I don't know if you cannot lose anything. But what I just did in that place, I just have to come and um, take off fuse. This is fuse 21, they call it. Let me check and be sure. Um, so guys and uh, okay it's uh, fees 27 20, 26 27 okay fees 27 is just the last fees had the back of this today after the road. This is the fuse 27. I have to take it off. So, so guys, I have to take that off to enable me to drive my car to my office from where I am, from the location. So guys, what I did, I after checking all the fuses, check all the fuse, None of the fuse that is blown off. The ignition is not sucking. Try all what I can try. It's not sucking, but there is another way you can drive your car out of where you are. Take it to town in case this happened to you. Maybe in the forest, maybe you are traveling. You just park to ease yourself and then you come back and then you slot your key in the ignition and then the ignition key refuses to suck. It can happen at any time. So guys, let's go. Let me show you what you're gonna do very easy for you to be able to drive the car out of the way you are. As you can see me, though I have to open all this, diagnose the car yesterday, nothing. And uh, So guys, here I go, and um, hold on. So guys, after trying everything that yesterday, so I have to take my key. This is my key. And then I brought the spare key. The same thing now starting. I slow the key. Then let me take it off ignition. Take it off out of ignition. So, guys, what I did, I just turned my ignition to one step. Bam. Just turn my ignition one step. This is the second step. So, take the key off. Go like this. Slow the key. Turn one step. 
turn one step then all i'm gonna do is like this and because come to the fuse 27 this is the fuse 27 take it off from here drop your fuse fuse 27 wait a while give it like a like five to ten minutes so let's go i'll be waiting because yesterday after checking all the fuse everything you know none of the fuse are blown off so i have to do this to enable me to turn the ignition on and leave the spot where i am because it's late it was dark it was night and i have to you know you know damage the steering lock so that it will enable me to drive the car so while waiting let me just show you what i did because right now the steering lock is damaged i have to but if you can pull it off you can see my steering lock is damaged can you see that can you hear the sound i have to force force it turn 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 like this so i've damaged the lock on the teeth so you can see it's turning so that is the way i managed to drive the car back to my office i don't want to park my car there and then I needed to leave that spot and there is no way I can move so in case this happened to you guys let's go as we still wait for 10 to 5 minutes so I have to you see the, hand, the dashboard light will go off you wait then uh, the next thing you're gonna do is um, you know, this is the starter relay I pull it off that is the starter relay I pull it off as you can see then while I keep waiting while I keep waiting for 10 minutes I uh, no I'm not gonna stop to 10 minutes I think let me, I'll just give it like five minutes so guys let me pause the video so that uh, once it's five minutes I resume Okay guys, let's go. She's still trying to wait for a minute again. So I can show you what to do. If you are in a tight corner, as in you want to make sure the ignition key is turned on and then you want to move the car from the spot where the car is to a safe place where you can fix the car. You can also lose the steering, then get your steering lock out from the, from the, uh, steering um, from the steering uh, column so so but my I just have to force it I have to force it but I don't try to force it the way I do because me I needed to move out so you can move it you can remove it you can also take it out guys so guys let's go here is my fuse and then when I take it in there, you hear a sound come on the uh, a sound beep in the uh, ignition. The ignition, you can hear that sound come. The sound has come up the ignition, so I, I turn on the ignition now. So the ignition is on. The sound is playing as you can see the ignition is on the ignition is on so what i'm gonna do right now i will use the relay to start the car so this is the relay this is the starting relay what i just do is to click on the magnet yeah my engine has started so guys if this is your first time watching my YouTube channel, this is Miami Automobile. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, share my video. I have a lot of things to show you on my YouTube channel. 
very easy you can move your car from where you are so guys but in some of the vehicle you have to lose the steering out but on this i have to damage you can listen to the steering lock this is the steering lock that is the steering lock that is the steering lock making sound like that so very easy to move so very easy to move the car very very easy so guys if this is your first time watching my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel this is miami auto please subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video please please subscribe just click that subscribe button it's not gonna do anything for you but just click please don't come and watch go back then come back and watch again just click on the subscribe button so that when time i drop any video you will see the video i just uploaded so that you'll be the first person to watch my video i have a lot of things i have a lot of things to upload in this my youtube channel even on programming scanning adaptation coding please guys subscribe thank you for watching